Well, there was an interesting article I read the other day about uh, franchises. I mean, they've always been, you know, a source of maybe opportunities, you know, in America. It was always aimed at small business and entrepreneurs and people trying to better themselves. I think it's an old idea. <laughs> but there's a lot of good, I guess, and a whole lot of bad, too. So particularly if you don't have a lot of money. If you got money to lose, then who cares? <laughs> you should do what you want. But if you don't have money to lose, you better watch out because these things are really, I think, and so many of them are, are built for the people selling the franchises. So I, the way I see a lot of this stuff, it's really how the government helps millionaires become billionaires. You know, just like the uh, for-profit universities that are out there, like uh, Phoenix and things like that. People are billionaires because they, find, they get you to get government money. So you get a loan from the government to go to their university <laughs> and they give you a degree that can't mean anything in your life, like from a, an accredited school, and, and then you are stuck with the bill. Or a lot of these schools even go, the for-profit go out of business and you're stuck with the bill and they already got your money. So they get their money and they spend very little on education versus a traditional university. And so the, the franchises are like this too. Where, where they, they, so you can get a, a small business loan for a franchise because they all oh, these are supposed to be more secure and things like that. <laughs> and really that's very debatable. Yeah? So you get the money from the government or the government's guaranteed it and, and you get the loan you fail, and then you're stuck in having to pay the money, and they already have your money, right? So you got to pay back the government or the bank, whoever you know got the loan for the uh, franchise, and, and, and they're free and clear. You know, they don't do anything. Actually, I did a, a study of all of analysis of all the re, the um, franchise loans because this data is available at the Small Business Administration. I got the whole database and ran it, and I don't have it up anymore. It's about four or five years old. But the uh, rate of failures, you know, here, wings and things have a 94% failure rate. So these are approved franchises by the, the Small Business Administration, <laughs> and almost 100% of them fail. <laughs> and there's a lot like that. Now, here's another report. I felt I found a little more recent data, uh, and this is something about fits fits small business.com and they have sort of like the best and worst franchises and you'll see down here uh, on the uh, uh, the worst franchise noble roman pizza you know 94 percent fail here's sun image you know that's about 40 uh, 60 70 80 percent of it uh, executive tans i mean these failure rates are 80 90 percent uh counter clutter Pro Golf, you know, Figaro's Italian Pizza. Oh, here's Buffalo Wings and Things again. You know, they're about 80, 90%. Planet Beach, you know, that's 200 out of 300. So that's two thirds, right? Uh, soups and Salad. Amco, beep, beep. Look at that. 21 out of 34 failed this year. Athlete's Foot, again, 24 out of 39 failed. And that's huge failure rates to me. <laughs> so that's why you got to be careful of this stuff. So if you're thinking about a franchise, and they're heavily promoted because what they're trying to do, you know, people selling franchises are going to get you to buy, get a loan from the government because the government's pretty easy on getting a loan for the franchise because they think that's all, you don't have to know anything and just, you know, plug in what they say and you'll be a millionaire and of course you won't <laughs> maybe there's a you know about a chance of uh, whatever but if you're having a business idea i think it's better <laughs> to become somebody who could sell franchises because that's where the money is that's where people <laughs> you know the millionaires make billion uh by selling franchises to other people and they do heavy sales because i've seen these people around a lot they're heavy sales on franchise and then they make it here's here's to get money to buy the franchise you think you'll be a gazillionaire and it doesn't work out and but you still own the money so how do you find out about these things okay one go to the small business administration you know and, and you can go to their press office office uh, they have an SBA franchise directory but also I would get that failure rate information if that website earlier that I gave you uh, doesn't have it all for you then go to the small business administration also in de debating <coughs> uh, you know whether you uh, should buy or not the Federal Trade Commission monitors people so there are rules that they have to follow, and a lot of them don't because they just like uh, collection agencies. If they follow the rules, they'll never get the money from you. 
<laughs> so that's right. You got to know the rule. How you're protected. If you go to the Federal Trade Commission, that's FTC.gov, and ask for the Consumer's Guide to Buying a Franchise. And, and that's what you want to get. Because it tells you that they have to register and what they have to uh, uh you know, that they have to tell you and what data to look for and everything. So make sure you take the time to read all that. Don't get sucked in by salesmen. They're too good at this. You're no match for any salesman. You're no match for the internet uh, or Google or any of the, I mean, I'm not either. They're, they spend every minute of their life figuring out how to get money from you. And then all of a sudden you're going to go fight. That's like playing in the Super Bowl just because you think you're playing Super Bowl because you played high school football. You know, you're going to get your ass butt kicked right now here's another thing see the states have to give more information about these franchises so here's a, a franchise law solutions.com they have a state by state listing of which states i'm sure the federal trade commission has this too but this is a good place to know about uh because they will you go to the state you find those states that have, not every state has to register franchises but there are a dozen or more states that do and you could go to and get more financial data about the franchises as that's where they have to report how many fail and all this kind of stuff and, and then they don't have to tell you if they don't want to you know but they're in those state governments they do so make sure they're registered in one of these states that they have to give all this information and by the way the federal trade commission has a lot of other good stuff oh where the heck is it uh on any kind of business opportunities so they manage all kinds of business opportunities at federal trade commission so check check with them there uh anytime you run into a uh, business opportunity because then then they can you know tell you what the day it, it just salesmen are too good we what we do very well in this country is sell <laughs> we're the best salesmen in the world aren't we yeah because we spent all our money it's these expertise and everything is selling not doing this stuff just selling this stuff so they know how to sell it. they're selling helps and helps uh hopes and dreams and stuff like that and, and the average person and me included <laughs> and i'm not average <laughs> the the uh, uh not equipped to deal with these people you can't it's not a fair fight uh so just don't play the game you have to go around them to get the information that you need because you get it from them it's you know, it's sort of like, uh, when did you stop beating your wife kind of question, you know. But by the way, uh, read the article uh, about the franchise is interesting. Uh, it says, franchises are often promoted as businesses that fare well in the recession. But this chief executive uh, who manages, who looks at franchise data said, the, re the research does not support that. In other words, they'll try to tell you, hey, this, no matter what the economy is, you know, your franchise will be good. No, that's not true. A new report from the National League of Cities says that two thirds of the cities think that the economy is going to go down this coming year. Uh, let's see, fi financing like the economy is cyclical. Data shows that the top growth areas in franchise and include fitness centers, children's educational programs, and general health sector. Food and uh, food as a broad category is ebbing. So that's, that's slowing down. Did you, do you have a winning idea for, of your own? A better opportunity to create wealth may be to become a franchiser by setting up a business that creates and manages your concept and collects fees from licensing and revenue. That's another thing. I don't understand. People want to be their own boss and they buy a franchise. You're not your own boss in buying a franchise. You know, you got to give some out of the money, somebody money and, and do <laughs> exactly what they tell you to do. You can't be creative because they don't want creativity. They want people to just follow their orders, you know, and, and this kind of thing. So that's why that, that never appealed to me personally as an entrepreneur. The most successful fr franchises focus on technology and systems that create repeatable experience for customers, they say. Uh, like pet grooming and massage therapy. The guy they mentioned here who does about $20 million of uh, business a year now. Uh, he has Benjamin Franklin plumbing businesses. I know he's got a dozen of them or something around the country that he does. And he's doing very well with them. Now, here's an interesting business. Uh, uh, bicycle repair at home. 
See, now just think, you know, there's a great business idea. Say, how to go to people's home and fix their bikes, right? Now people go to their homes and, and, and uh, wash their pets, right? And fix their automobiles, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So why not fix bikes? We become a bicycles, you know, uh, where the bicycles becoming more and more popular every day, particularly downtown here in Washington. So it, it's, you know, see, there's neat ideas like that. Why do you need a franchise to do that? Man, no, you just go out and put flyers around and look for people with bicycles and put flyers and here you are. You know? And it costs you nothing. You don't have to pay somebody $100,000 or 10000 20000 in the loan and then fail because they're screwing up. Here's some interesting data too about franchise. The best franchise opportunity may not be the one that makes the best hamburger. You see that? It can be the one with the best purchasing, marketing, and buying power. No one thinks of McDonald's hamburger is the best, but McDonald's has system driven by technology. You're getting the same experience at any location. So that's a little uh, insight into franchises and, and sources of information uh, so you don't have to take the information that they're selling you. The person who's selling you something and getting money from you is certainly not <laughs> an unbiased. No matter how nice they, you think they are, they're biased as hell because you're going to put food on their table.